a very generic question that comes into everyone's mind including each one of you that what is the way to work in a most efficient manner or in other words how to bring excellency in terms of your performance what are the tricks what are the smart works so a very small incident i'm going to recall here i have read about it and uh, i was really impressed with what was revealed in that incident so the incident goes back uh, to quite a few years back almost a century back i'm talking about george bernard shaw george bernard shaw one of the noted british uh, he was a dramatist, he was a writer, he was one of the members of the BBC, initial members of BBC, a very profound and a very renowned literary face in England. So he was excellent in his field. So there are quite a few anecdotes and uh, incidents of his life. One such incident uh, is someone asked in an interview, and uh, let me tell you something about uh, his uh, physique. He was actually not very, uh, uh, not in very good health right from his childhood. So uh, he used to walk even in his young days uh, using a walking stick. So you can understand that he had a uh, not very profound body uh, uh, figure or, or, or not in very good health as well. So someone asked in an interview that uh, Mr. Shaw, George Bernard Shaw, Mr. Shaw, uh, tell me, uh, you were not very well, not very fit from your early days in your childhood. So how would you achieve this excellency in, in, in whatever you did so far, whatever you have achieved, how could you do so? So he recalled and then he told. So the statement that George Bernard Shaw said on his own. So I'm now recalling the statement what he said to you. He said, when I was young, I found that nine out of every 10 things I did were mistakes. So he said that nine out of every 10 things he did were mistakes, which means 90% failure rate. With such a failure rate, the interviewer was shocked to hear this, that nine out of every 10 things he did were mistakes, were failures. So then he said, after a pause, so I used to work 10 times harder. So in one attempt, if he is getting or achieving 10%, if he's working 10 times on the same thing, quite a simple logic, 10% in each attempt, that adds up to 100%. So he used to attain 100%. I must say it was not 100%, it was 100 and few more percents. Because when you do something repeatedly for those 10 attempts, the 10th attempt would be one of the most refined ones. So the crux is there is no shortcut to success. But by saying this, we does not, we cannot or we does not say that you have to start working 18 or 20 hours a day. It's not like that. Now here comes the smart work in terms of managing your time. But efforts you will have to put. There is no shortcut in your efforts that you can put. So you'll have to put 100% efficiency in your efforts. There is no such shortcut which can bypass that process. Right? There is no shortcut to success. It's only the real efforts that count. So I think this is clear to each one of you now. So start giving you 100%. Results would follow. There is nothing that cannot be achieved. Success would be yours. All the best.